We have learned previously how to do um, the ape man, for lack of a better word, the mnemonic that means atomic number is equal to number of protons equals number of electrons. And then mass number minus atomic number is neutrons. Um, and today we're going to expand on that. So we already know from one of our keeper sheets that atomic number is the same as the number of protons and is also for right now until I tell you differently um, it's also equal to the number of electrons and then the other part of it is mass number minus atomic number equals number of neutrons so basically all of this part of the sheet we already know how to do okay in this particular sheet um, goes in order by atomic number so this is going to be the first 15 elements that we're going to do and we're going to start figuring out how those electrons are arranged into energy levels and I probably mentioned valence electrons a little bit when we followed along to fill out lesson two but we're going to see more um, of what's what that's all about if you will look at your periodic table, you'll notice that the element with atomic number one is hydrogen and its chemical symbol is H. Um, atomic number two is helium, chemical symbol HE. So we're going to do these first two and then I'm going to explain um, this stuff about electron arrangement and valence electrons in just a second. So fill in the first two rows for hydrogen and helium. Okay, I've written hydrogen, symbol H, atomic number is 1, and remember that the mass number, you look at the periodic table, and you take that atomic mass, in this case it's 1.008, take that and round it off to the nearest whole number. So 1.008, is that closer to, to 1, or is that closer to 2? And that's obviously a lot closer to 1, so we're going to round it off to 1. So the atomic number was 1, they gave it to us. The mass number is 1. The number of protons, remember, number of protons is equal to the atomic number. Atomic number is 1, so the number of protons is 1. Um, atomic number is equal to the number of protons, and it's also for right now equal to the number of electrons, so we'll just hop over here. We have one electron. How do we get the number of neutrons? Remember we take the mass number, subtract the atomic number, and we get neutrons. So mass number 1 minus 1 that gives us 0 neutrons. And that's that's true of most hydrogen atoms. Most hydrogen atoms they're super simple. They have one proton and one electron. They are the smallest simplest atom uh, in the universe. Alright next row we have helium chemical symbol HE atomic number of 2. Helium is right here uh, the atomic mass in the box says 4.003. Is that closer to 4 or is it closer to 5? And it's much closer to 4, so the mass number is going to round and give us 4. They told you already there's two protons. Neutrons is going to be mass number minus atomic number, so 4 minus 2, that's two neutrons. Number of electrons, Remember, right now it's equal to atomic number and the number of protons, so that gives us two electrons. All right, at this point, we're going to start looking over here. In your um, lesson, lesson two, I mentioned that electrons uh, sort of get dumped or sorted into energy levels. There is a low energy level that's closest to the nucleus of the atom, um, and that energy level only holds two electrons. There's another energy level, a second energy level, a little bit further away from the nucleus of the atom out there in the electron cloud, and it can hold eight, up to eight electrons. And then a little further away, a little more energy in the electron cloud, a little further from the nucleus is your third energy level. It can also hold eight electrons. Okay, so two electrons possible, 
in the first energy level, eight electrons in the second energy level, eight electrons in the third energy level. So here's what we do. Right here, we have the total number of electrons for each of these elements. So hydrogen has a total of one electron. Okay. The rule is that you have to completely fill the first energy level before any electrons go into the second energy level, and so on and so forth. So I only have one electron. So that first and only electron I'm going to draw in the first energy level. And that takes care of all of my electrons because there's only one. So I didn't even use the second energy level. I didn't use the third energy level. So the first energy level for hydrogen happens to be its only energy level for electrons, and it also happens to be the outermost energy level, because again, it's the only energy level that we're using. So this box indicates the energy level, that is the outermost energy level. And valence electrons are the electrons that are found in the outermost energy level. This is the outermost energy level for hydrogen. How many are out there? Just one electron. All right, the next row, we have a total of two electrons for helium. We need to place those two electrons into the appropriate energy levels. Remember that we have to fill the first energy level before we can put anything in the second energy level. And the first energy level holds two electrons. And two electrons is all that I have. So I don't use the second energy level. I don't use the third energy level. That first energy level for helium is the only energy level it is also the outermost energy level. So how many electrons are in helium's outermost energy level? There are two. So helium has two valence electrons. Okay. Next we're going to look at beryl uh, not beryllium, sorry, lithium. Lithium is right here on the periodic table, right below hydrogen. Um, atomic number is three. Atomic mass is 6.941. That is going to round off to 7 for our mass number. So lithium is Li. Atomic number 3. Mass number, remember, rounds to 7. Protons is the same as the atomic number, always. Neutrons is mass minus atomic number. That's going to give you 4. And then there are going to be a total of 3 electrons for lithium. And then we're going to need to sort those into which energy levels they go into. Okay, for lithium's three electrons, we've got to place them in energy levels. Remember, you have to fill the first energy level with two electrons before you get to put anything in the second energy level. And we've got three total electrons to deal with. So we put the first two in the first energy level. And then we put that uh, last electron in the second energy level. We do not use the third energy level at all. So for lithium, the second energy level is the outermost energy level. And there is one electron out there. So lithium has one valence electron. All right, then we're going to move to beryllium. Uh, B E R Y L L I U M. Beryllium's atomic number is four. If you look at the periodic table, the atomic mass is 9.012. That's closer to nine than to 10, so we're going to round it off to nine. Protons is four. Remember, your neutrons is mass number minus atomic number, so that's five. And then for right now, um, electrons are going to be the same as protons and atomic number, so that is four. So for beryllium, we have four electrons total, and we need to place those in energy levels. Remember, we've got to fill the first energy level with two before we can put anything in the second energy level. So we have two in the first energy level and two in the second energy level. 
We do not need the third energy level at all. So the second energy level for beryllium is the outermost energy level. And there's two electrons out there. And so beryllium has two valence electrons. All right, the next element uh, with an atomic number of five is boron. If I look at boron, it says 10.812 for the atomic mass on the periodic table. That is going to round to 11. The number of protons is the same as the atomic number, so that's 5. Number of neutrons is 11 minus 5, which is 6. And then they already gave you the number of electrons, which is 5. So we take those 5 electrons and we start placing them in energy levels. We can put 2 in the first energy level, and then the other three go in the second energy level because remember the second energy level can hold up to eight electrons. Um, we do not use the third energy level at all. So the second energy level for boron is the outermost energy level for boron and so boron has three valence electrons because there are three electrons in boron's outermost energy level.